Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this view looks a little bit different, well, that's uh, that's because I lost a microphone, so I'm recording this on my action cam this morning. So if you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Uh, click the Hire Us button. Uh, contact us. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for being here. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Let's talk about a little bit of network design, and that is uh, tagged versus untagged VLAN. So let's head on over to the dry erase board. Okay, so here we have two switches. You have switch one and switch two. Now, switch one has a management VLAN of VLAN one, not tagged. All the ports are PVID one and all untagged VLAN one. Go over to switch two. It has a management VLAN of 100. The ports are all PVID 100, and they're all uh, untagged. That should be 100, not 1. 100. So, in the grand scheme of things, um, I was told um, when I questioned the design of this that it would keep somebody from plugging in and being on... Uh, their default uh, VLAN, which they weren't using. So that is correct. It would keep them from VLAN 1. But effectively, you've moved your default VLAN from VLAN 1 to VLAN 100. So now when they plug in, they're just going to be on VLAN 100 since you're using that as your main VLAN. So what is the operational difference on the switch here? A uh, person could not tell me what the operational differences because over here if I plug in I'm just on VLAN 1. Over here if I plug in because of the way the switch is configured I'm on VLAN 100. So what I've done by doing all the PVID and the untagged is uh, basically replicated this just with um, a different VLAN. So sometimes um, in network design um, you don't necessarily want to try to be too clever you want to keep it simple right. Um, Keep it simple, set up ACLs, set up firewall rules to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. Set up uh, allow listing for MAC addresses, um, set up port security, those kinds of things, you know, on a, on a switch. So, like I said, once again, they could not explain to me the functional um, difference of this and um, at the switch level. So, what do you think about this? Um, you know, I agree with having a management VLAN in some cases. In some cases it doesn't uh, always make sense, but uh, if you're just going to do PVID 100, untagged 100, why not just keep it here? Now, I know you're going to say, well, what if it's a big network? This is not a big network. Three VLANs, a couple uh, 40, 50 devices, not a big network. So, yeah, let me know uh, your thoughts on this. I'm always interested to hear other people's network design theory. All right, so that's it for this video. Let me know what your thought is on that down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or by using our clearly marked affiliate links. So those are all down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.